Inspired by the New Zealand wars of the 1800s, specifically the Battle of Gate Pa, Rules of Engagement is a journey through our cultural past with themes of love, war, revolution and change. Please welcome to the cafe its central storyteller, award-winning singer, songwriter and all-round awesome chick, <laughs> Rhea Hall. Hi, Rhea. It's so good to have you back. It's nice to be back. It's been a while, hasn't it, actually? It has been a year been, since you were on here. here. Can I just say congratulations on the new album? Thank you. Now, you burst onto the scene back in oh, 2011, even yep. earlier than that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a lot going on, but it's probably been a while since you've had an album out. So what's, yeah. what's been going on there? Well, this is my first full LP. This is my first work. So I did an EP back in 2011. And then life just happened, I suppose you could say. You know what I mean? Um, it's, a, it's a contestable market out there. And, you know, for artists, money is hard to come by yes, to produce work. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was very fortunate with New Zealand On Air help and uh, Te Maungai Pāho help and Creative New Zealand help um, that I've been able to finally <laughs> come up with this work. So. And clearly a passion as well. What was it about the battle of Gate Pass specifically that made you want to focus on that for this album? Um, I had a conversation in 2012 with Ricky Gooch, who was the former drummer for Trinity Roots. He produced my EP in 2011, and him and I were having a kai, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> and um, over kai, he suggested that I do a concept album and you know use something that was a central theme to tie the music yeah. sonically and lyrically together and I thought Love and War was a wonderful kind of way to play on it and mm. Rules of Engagement came to my head, my own people back in Tauranga came to my head and I thought well that's me, I'm going to try and, and do this and it's done. So It's it's a really awesome album you. and you've got bits of your great uncle I recorded do. in mm. there, how did that come about? Um, I always intended on having some family member yeah. or someone that I could, you know, reach back into the archives and bring out to really just give some solidarity to the to the record. And I went to our local Iwi radio station at Moana, Moana FM and huge, huge shout out to them and found my grandfather's older brother, Te Rangi Tikani, and he was speaking about Gate Pa and the Battle of Te Ranga. Wow. As soon as I put him on and I was like... <laughs> Meant okay. to be. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible, isn't know, it? And yeah, what a really tribute is. to your family as well, to yeah. you know, to put them on an album. Did you learn a lot when you were making this album about, you know, not only your family history, mm. but about storytelling? Yeah, I, I learnt more so more about myself as as a woman, as a Māori yeah. woman, as a musician, as an artist, and what it actually means and what my purpose is for the work and for what I've done and am yet to do. You know, my purpose here is to serve and to speak on behalf of people that actually can't that's or right. don't have a voice. Yep. And so um, that's kind of, for me, that's the that's the crux of, of this work. And using my own history as reference and historical documents as reference yeah. is just, yeah, it was, it was a really powerful experience for me. And a beautiful album as a result. And you've yeah. got some great yeah. collaborations on here as well. We're we so lucky. Shay Fu, I know. So yeah. who else is on there? Uh, Kings. Yep. Um, Lawton Quarter. Um, I did the first draft of the album with Electric Wire Hustle out of Wellington. Um, gosh, who else is on there? <laughs> I don't want to miss anyone else. <laughs> Who's Tiki, who? Tiki Tani is, is instrumental in creating this, this piece as well, so um, yeah, I'm so, just blessed. So truly, Kiwi, you haven't used, you know, an international name, really, you know, mm. to, to get it out there. Was that part of that journey for you? I think it kind of just fell into place that way. Um, I actually realised over the last month when I was about to, you know, when we were at, on the verge of, of getting everything out into the into the ethos that I had no females working on it except for myself. No. Oh my. <laughs> from, from the start to the finish, it's oh, wow. only myself. And um, maybe that's testament to, to woman's strength and being able to hold herself hold and hold her own. So. Yeah, which but, you do. But I really yeah. needed the boys. I really <laughs> needed them and I'm so grateful that I had them. OK, question for you though, right? Give it to me. You get the chance <laughs> to work with anyone internationally. Who would it be? Oh, my Whoa. gosh. You know? That's, oh. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. Actually, I, I tell you who I would love to work with, or even just sit in the room with, is Bill Withers. Oh, yeah. Great songwriter. <laughs> but... Incredible songwriter yeah. and so witty. Okay. I would love to sit, sit down and have a convo with him. I'm sure you'll get there. Absolutely. I would love to. Uh, congratulations on the album. Thank you so much. Go and get it. Plays. That's yes. right. Rhea <laughs> Rhea's Rules of Engagement is out now from all good outlets. Go and get a copy.